Hi everyone, I'm still alive. In the last few weeks, I've been very busy preparing workshops and giving them to my choirs, but now I'm going back to the videos. As usual, please, this is my own personal opinion that I'm going to share with you. Today, I'm going to tell you three pieces in the classical harp repertoire, which I'm definitely, definitely never ever going to practice and I'll tell you why. The first one, scandalous, is the Moldau. It's so beautiful and I'm so very emotionally attached to this piece because it's the first one I played with the orchestra. Bling bling with a flute oh, I mean come on I'm very much not against arrangements actually I think we need arrangements for the harp absolutely our original repertoire for this kind of harp it's super small but some arrangements they just don't work and for me Moldau doesn't work the melody itself yes of course it could work. It's very lyrical, it's beautiful, it could work well with the harp, but to me it's not worth the effort. You want to perform on the harp too much what the orchestra does. It's not possible. It doesn't give the same fluidita. How do you say it in English? Fluid, uh, no, not fluid. It doesn't work smoothly. This part when you have the big arpeggio and the melody, the melody is too slow. Always, I've heard fantastic, really amazing, top of the top harpists playing it. And it still doesn't sound good. Just because the arrangement, from my point of view, it's not spot on. Next one, it's another arrangement or transcription. The Concerto of Aranjets. This is original for guitar and orchestra. Now let's talk about the guitar and the harp because people maybe think, oh yeah, string, strings, it's the same. No. What I don't like about this concert played by the harp is the timbre. The harp has a very different color of sound than the guitar. The guitar is much more nasal, it's much more sharp, and it's much less round. It's more dry. You cannot reproduce the dryness that you need, even if you play it with a kamak instead of a lion and healy or whatever harp you want to take. It doesn't work. Like, think even of the beginning. You have to be this kind of quick, which the harp is ribattuto, so with these kind of fingerings, it sounds weak. I'm going to go and enjoy listening to it by guitarist. Third piece, Un Châtelain en Satour. This piece is just a must for a classical harp repertoire. And the reason why I'll never practice it is, first of all, I don't like it enough. As I mentioned in a couple of videos behind, I'm going to do a fingerings video. And I got a bit stuck with that because there are so many things to say. And all my attempted videos were very messy. So I said, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to clarify what I want to say and then I'm going to release the video. But definitely that was one of the reasons why I was going to take Un Châtelain en Satour for an example for legato. To me, the effort of making such a delicate and very beautiful phrase with a thumb to play complete legato and at the same time playing triplets, that amount of work that I have to put in only those lines is not worth the effort. I could do it if I liked the piece enough in order to spend hours and hours doing it. But no, that's it. These are my three pieces I'll never ever put my energy, time and effort into. Tell me what are yours because I'm very interested. And tell me also what's your favorite harp piece. For me, I have no doubts. It's the Suite by Benjamin Britten. There you can really show off the harp at its max. You can have a whole orchestra on the harp. You have special effects. You have glissand. You have près de la table. You have fast and dry pieces. You have really beautiful fat chords. And you have the last movement, which is the most cantabile, the most goosebumps piece ever. So I'm definitely saying this is for now my 200% choice of my favorite piece in the harp repertoire. Let me know what you think about it and I'll see you in my next video. Ciao! Thank you for subscribing, like. It's... It's... The, the melody.
Thank you to my patron. Thank